Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we'll be taking a look at what is possibly the coolest looking desk vac I've ever seen. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at possibly one of the coolest looking vacuums I have ever seen in my existence. This one really does take the biscuit, and if you're not into vacuums, then uh, you may be maybe not so interested in this, but I think this is so cool, I had to take a look at it. When uh, the people from Moonzocker actually reached out to me and said, uh, would you like to test our vacuum? I was like, mm, well, we've had a look at vacuums before. This one is kind of cool, I do like it. It uses a USB Type-C connection, uh, it's designed for getting into smaller places, and I think this is gonna be absolutely brilliant for things like my uh, chairs, my keyboards, cleaning out PCs, that kind of thing. Maybe even venture outside into the car. It is fully portable, so there's no reason why we shouldn't do that, especially now if summer's come in, time to clean the car, etc. So, yep, yeah, I was thrilled to take a look at it. Now, it is a little bit on the expensive side. And this retails at the moment on Amazon.co.uk for around about the £70 mark, which for a kind of a mini cordless vacuum is quite a lot of money. But when we see this, you'll appreciate why, because it does look absolutely stunning and it's got some serious suction. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see, this is from uh, Mundzucker. I think I've pronounced that right. If there's a, if, I think that's a German word, I'm pretty sure. Mond is uh, moon, I believe, and Zucker is sugar, kind of, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments section, I'll be interested to know, especially from our European viewers. Anyway, so that is what the uh, the vacuum itself looks like. It's not a traditional vacuum in any sense of the word. It looks very, very stylish, very futuristic. And if you had it kind of in your office or in your kitchen with your appliances, people wouldn't go, oh, can I use your vacuum? They'd be like, oh, what is that? That's cool, is that some kind of blender? And it certainly does look like that. Anyway, uh, on the side, small size, huge power, translations as well. On the top there, so we've got Moon Zucker VX handheld vacuum, and that is pretty much it. Goes into some of the specs on the back here. So this is the VX001 USB Type C input charging, DC 5 volts, 2 amps, rated voltage 11.1 volts, battery capacity is 2000 milliamp hour. So yeah, that's actually not too bad at all. Battery charging time around about two and a half hours. And the motor watts is in normal mode, 60 watts, and in the maximum mode is 120 watts. Operating time of 20 minutes in normal mode, and about nine minutes on full blast. Suction power, and this is where it gets quite exciting. The suction power in the normal mode is 7,000 PA, which actually is probably about two to three times more powerful than most of the other kind of similar looking vacuums on the market. And in the maximum mode, we're looking at a whopping 1300 PAs, which is, yeah, that is pretty impressive. That puts it into similar sort of category or territory as things like the Dyson V6 animal, that kind of thing. So yeah, even though this is a kind of relatively small looking device, it certainly hides a lot of power. Anyway, that's enough waffle, let's see what we can actually get. So in the, uh, actually rather nice packaging, first of all, we get our accessories box. So in here, is our USB charging cable, which is USB Type-C to Type-A, and also there is a nozzle with like a dusting attachment on it as well also, and I would imagine there is gonna be some kind of installation or instruction manual. So, as I suspected, we have the Munzucker instruction manual in uh, multi-language, so yeah, you can have a look through there, see what that's all about. You also get a, so roughly about a meter cable, so that is USB Type-C on one end and USB Type-A on one end. So that is uh, for charging purposes. And obviously you can charge it into a regular two amp hour wall output if you've got one, like the sockets we have here. It might unbox in, so all the 13 amp sockets have got USB sockets as well. So we can plug them in as also. But you do also get included a two amp hour or 2000 milliamp hour charging point. So you can plug that into a, uh, a mains dock somewhere if you want to, like into a 13 amp plug, maybe at home, office, wherever. Or if you haven't got that available, then obviously you can just use the USB on a maybe a battery bank, power bank, that kind of thing, or a built-in socket. So that's enough about the uh, the charging. This is the first of the attachments. So this is your kind of your regular crevice tool. So you've got a kind of cut out there, so you don't cut off the suction altogether. 
and also you can press in the sides there and you can slide that out to the end so you can use that for your regular dusting etc etc and the bristles actually yeah quite stiff bristles on there it's gonna be very decent you can i would imagine take this off in its entirety and it doesn't say you can but yeah there you go so if you want to take it off altogether if you're not using that and you have specific use case scenarios then you can just use that on its own let's take a look at the actual vac itself now this is where things get a little bit freaky because this thing is because this thing is very very nice looking you wouldn't think this is a vacuum you really wouldn't it just it doesn't look like a traditional vacuum in any way shape or form so you've got this really nice kind of uh metal it's like almost like an anodized finish to it which is, looks really nice you've got the logo on there you've got the power buttons and it's got two modes so you press it once and it goes into low power mode which you'll try now also good for a hair dryer and put it into speed mode too and press it again and it turns off so you've got two modes there first mode you get the uh, the white light and then when it's on the high power mode you get the blue light etc also when it's charging it flashes blue to say it's charging and also when it's fully charged the light stays on permanently blue or turns off after a short while so yeah that's all pretty cool the actual outlet at the end is on the back there and i think that is solid it does look like there's three prongs on there which potentially could be used for a charging dock but it doesn't actually come with one uh, that was one of the things that they said is a feature it doesn't require a dock so you literally you can just plug in your usb type c in the back there so that's nice and easy to do so i grab our cable literally really handy best thing about usb ever is it doesn't matter which way it goes in it just works so yeah, there's no guessing or having to look close to see which way it goes in it just plugs in so even for the uh, the most kind of non-tech savvy people a usb type c is pretty straightforward there's not a lot that can go wrong so if you're thinking about buying this for a gift for someone like uh, maybe your mum sort of thing whatever they're going to be absolutely fine with it so yeah that's all pretty good so the top section this is the main kind of inlet so when you're doing normal vacuuming you can just use it in this mode so just press the button and you get the idea so already we're picking up bits which as you can see which i deliberately left on the desk there so that works fine there's a little rubber flap in there as well to stop the uh, debris coming out after you've also got two lots of filters in there as well so not only have you got a stainless steel filter in there anyway which is all washable you've also got a hepa filter in there as well which also is washable as well which we'll take that apart shortly to see what that all looks like and to empty out is simplicity itself so there's a little catch there so you just press that that flicks open fully open so then you can just tap out any of the garbage and stick it into the bin or back onto the desk however you choose so that locks into place really nicely the canister comes off just twist off and you can lift that off so then if you want to you can do any maintenance that clean it up etc but also you've got the option so you can actually take all this apart so flick the top open you can then push out the filter section so once it's apart then you've got the the metal bit on the outside which you can clean off or if you want to you can just twist the plastic bit there and that just pulls out with a kind of cotton style HEPA filter so again you can uh, wash that out numerous times no problems there the downside is obviously of this it is a relatively small basket so potentially you are going to fill this up i wouldn't obviously use this as a, uh, a kind of daily driver for the house that is probably not a great idea it's not going to get you very far when you're trying to uh, vacuum your house but certainly for little spills little messes in the kitchen i think in the kitchen it's actually going to be perfect for those things such as obviously that's the reason why i've got a lot of these props here so things like making a cake if you've got your sugar strands or you've got your bisto granules maybe some uh, peppercorns or maybe some black pepper that kind of stuff or maybe even some of your himalayan salt is gone adrift then it's going to be pretty easy to pick up or at least we hope it's going to be because now i've got to pick all this up so we'll do some practical tests now and see actually how good it is okay so one of the first things we're going to test here is actually something which i've seen in some of the advertising where this actually uh has got the power to stick to your hand so yeah that's in high power mode so we'll see what happens there i don't think it's going to do it in low power mode So in high power mode, yeah, 
easy peasy. So I've got an obstacle course here, or a small obstacle course of things that you may spill in your kitchen or possibly in your uh, workplace, possibly not, but anyway, we'll give it a go. So I'm gonna try it without any of the uh, attachments on and just see how we go. Then what I'll do is I'll pick up all this, then after I'm gonna empty it all back out and then we'll go try use some of the attachments and see what they're actually like. Sounds pretty straightforward. So let's try this on the first speed rating. And there we go, on the first speed rating for the uh, peppercorns there, absolute piece of cake, no issues there whatsoever. So I can empty those back out because that did pretty well. Actually, that's probably a bad idea, isn't it? Oh, we'll do it anyway. So there's the peppercorns. Let's go with the uh, mum's favorite. Let's go with Bisto. Yeah, to be fair, that was uh, that was really no challenge whatsoever. So let's go straight on and do the rest of it because this is a little bit too easy. So the first thing I've noticed with the uh, the pepper, there's a little bit of residue left on the desk. So I think that is probably the same with most kind of really small compounds like that. They are a little bit more difficult. So let's go over it with the high power mode and see if we can pick up the remnants. If not, we're gonna have to get the attachments on the go. Yeah, there's a little tiny little bit of residue on there, which Essentially, for you guys watching, you probably can't see it because it really is a very, very small amount. So let's try this again. Yeah, absolutely fine. So with the attachment on the end, just that extra little bit of pressure on the end, got it, no problem at all. So for larger particles, without the attachment, it's gonna be very easy to do. If you do want to get into things like uh, crevices more so, and those really fine dust particles, especially, obviously ground black pepper is probably one of the finest particles that you're going to come across when you're actually looking at dust. So I think that's going to be absolutely fine. Uh, again, you can if you want to, you can put the adapter on the end to do things like fabrics or maybe in the car. Actually getting into crevices with this is going to be really easy to do because of how narrow the actual body is. It's going to go into those really hard to get places quite, quite easily. So yeah, pretty decent. I love it, I really do. So this has pretty much passed every single obstacle that we put in front of it, even on the lowest power mode. So I think for most people, if you're gonna be using this, again, for me, I think cleaning PCs is gonna be somewhat more enjoyable with this uh, and possibly a little bit more practical. Sometimes getting the, uh, the Dyson out, the whole big thing and all the attachments and stuff. You don't always wanna get out the entire vacuum stuff just to do a little kind of spot cleaning. So I think with this is actually gonna be really handy. And also again, it doesn't look out of place anywhere. You could probably put it in the background and no one would be any of the wiser that it is actually a vacuum. So I think that is gonna pretty much wrap this one up. If there's any tests that you uh, feel would be a very good thing to do with this particular device and you wanna see me try it out, then do let us know and I will try and uh, do them at some point, either as a follow-up video or maybe in one of our live streams, which you're more than welcome to join. But I think actually as it stands, this, in terms of an all-round product, I think it's absolutely brilliant. The price is the one thing which I would say for me personally is what would make me as an individual possibly hesitate. But if you're one of those people which has uh, got your fancy Italian kitchen and you've got your really nice flagstone flooring and all that kind of stuff, then I think this is the person that really needs one of these in their life. Uh, for those of you that are kind of on the other edge and maybe you've been going around with your old Black & Decker dust buster for ages and the whole thing is about that big and takes forever to charge, then uh, maybe you might want to treat yourself to one of these. 
Anyway, let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully, we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.